nobody dance, don't stop I just need a minute to find out What I'm feeling cause I'm about to go nuts And my team is trying to say it was up I've been waiting for this my whole life Wanna do it again three, four times Cause it's better than a dream highway with young me I will never get in So high, 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 what a nice surprise You're all I ever had in mind I'm happy in the sky A big case of desire I will never say goodbye And welcome back to the European Indoor Ultimate Championship out of Lithuania. I'm Christina Obermeyer, joined by Hannah Penderby, and we are bringing you this women's matchup between the Netherlands and Poland. It's a pool play game. And Indeed. Poland is starting on offense. We'll see what they will show us here. Loads of cutting. Seems to be a, a young Polish team. It certainly Not a lot is. of faces one would maybe recognize from the European scene, but nonetheless, what a grab. Nonetheless, loads of talent. Well, you would recognize them if you looked at the uh, junior scene coming through. Obviously, the championships earlier on this year. Some fantastic stuff from the Polish women's team there. Well, I did, I did comment on that. So I, I was there. I remember some faces, but I didn't. I don't think I got to call quite as many games of theirs. I remember one or the other face, but Poland. Well, with a huge opener, that is for sure. A layout score, Anna Machalska with the grab. Sparks to Kulat for the Netherlands ISO. Sparks gets it back again with a hammer immediately to the back of the end zone and that's a point on the board for the Netherlands. Justine van den Meulen with the first score clean holds on both sides although it looked like the Netherlands got that a bit easier had to work a little less use the space very well more traditional indoors and of course Sparks is one to watch out for if you're marking up against her she's a lefty and dangerous 
Outdoors lefty handlers, you have to make a bit of an adjustment. Indoors lefty handlers, they're like a hall pass. You can just get them to throw into spaces that are so much more difficult for others to attack. Polyblast nearly with a hand block there, but caught after it was deflected. And Poland working it down, big fake. And a beautiful pass. That's going to come back end. though. It's an out of bounds call on the far sideline. There was a discussion. I was wondering why Nat Natalia Hulko didn't stop playing here. Oh, sorry. I was looking at Lisa Wohlrab. Stopped playing defense. Yeah. So apparently she was out of bounds when she caught that disc. So this will go to the Netherlands. Leninger into 10 Kate, and that is a break for ne the Netherlands. So Tenkata there collecting the goal and the break. After the just slight margin of error for the Polish. Yeah, it seemed like it wasn't clear in the beginning whether she was in or out. We had a discussion, this agreed that she was out by the time she had the disc in possession, and that's how quick it goes. So a great capitalization and a clean break for the Dutch. Of course, the jargon being clean break. The defensive line got one block and then immediately scored. On oh, a miscommunication for the reset. Big effort there to get that disc but just couldn't quite get her hands around that. Yeah, a huge effort from Pachonka, but she didn't quite move fast enough on the initiation of that reset. Sparks to pick up on the end zone line, goes back to open up some more space. Wundermole to Kulats for the break. That's a second break in the row in favor of the Netherlands. Many a player has left Flora Kalertz marked one on one in the end zone. But you can see there, just that little hand, that little hand being like, hey, just throw hey, it around, break. Yeah, just do that. Just do this to me. Make me look cool. <laughs> well, she, she looks plenty cool. We, she's known for looking plenty cool in the European scene. Only Turning to women's. Only the single leg compression, though. I think she's nursing a bit of a knee injury. That's okay. Nurse away as, as soon as she, uh, as long as she doesn't, you know, start playing. But I heard that she'd want to do women's, like go um, to the women's division this year. And Paula Bass with the grab, read it best. And a big scuba out of Bass and then hammer to get that goal. Angie Savio, Austrian. Yeah, it's a, it's a real mix of nationalities of origin on this Dutch team. Of course, the community player rule has disappeared. So all of the individuals have to actually live in the Netherlands. Indeed. And uh, Angela Angie Savio is living in the Netherlands currently, but she only moved there rather recently. But long enough, just long enough. Nonetheless, long enough to be part of it, although she's Austrian by birth and could always play with the Austrians in the future if she wanted to. Beautiful collection there by the Polish. Working those unders like crazy. And uh, this time the reset up the line rather will not connect and the Netherlands are looking to put another break on the board. A big lefty scuba into the huge frame of Jezi Roszka. Nothing really tight resets. Gets a garbage collection here and Polish keep possession alive long enough to put up a scuba, but that just went 
into the hands of the Dutch defender and with her out of bounds. Did an impressive scuba, but good recognition from the defense. Sparks to pick it up again. And this is our first point with multiple turnovers. Pull out. To Tenkata. Well, multiple turnovers, but stopping that bleeding quickly is their set play, which is isolate your best individual player and then get a continuation. It works. You can't it deny it. Yeah. Why stop something that's working that well? And fantastic timing on the secondary cut after that ISO as well. Just picture perfect. Wolf Nahus. With that score there. Poland with another opportunity on offense. Thinks about the hammer. Goes for the easy up the line though. Now back into the middle. Chavanko to Janitska. And into the end zone for Mat Machkowska. And that is the second uh, connection between those two players for a goal for the Polish. Not the layout required this time, just a nice easy pass to that backhand open side. Majowska rinsing the match up. Just clever timing on the cut. Did he seem to this time have figured out the spacing towards the red zone a bit better. Isolating here. But the Dutch back on the races and this over the top stuff has been working so well and they won't stop it. Going from one side of the field to the other, Kulart with the goal from Daniela Lustalo Knapp. Indeed, originally Mexican, now living in the Netherlands as a resident, I believe. Well, there's, there really is a big mixture of nationalities, nationalities. of origin, indeed. I know um, Wohlrab is German, German mm -hmm. but moved to the Netherlands. So we've got a Mexican, an Austrian, a few Netherlands. A German, a German and a Brit. And, and a Brit. Although, Sarah as, she, Sparks, as she was yelling at me to make sure I said, she actually does have her permanent Dutch residency now, as we see. Good for her. An error on the far sideline for the Polish to give a short field to Linga. A short field and just one throw, almost, hammer. Couldn't quite collect it inbounds, but doesn't matter. Palabas always up for some fancy throws as we see that knife go off. Wohlrab, a miscommunication went off uh, up the line into disc and back into Polish hands. <laughs> Discussion whether the disc was in or out of bounds, but Polish teammates informed her that she in fact was out of bounds and Paula Bas immediately picks up and Tenkato gets that score out of the scuba. Ugh, I love I love that nifty throws, just using those opportunities for a fast break. And if you can expect one individual on this pitch to have expansive and creative throwing, it is gonna be Paula Bas. They have a very deep toolbox. Indeed. But excellent spirit shown from the Polish side. Dominika Reza calling. Yeah, a bounce. Had a good vision from behind. Oh, and what a great D by Van der Mole. 
running through there and just gets the fingertips on that disc. Sparks with a big hammer, but there will be a discussion as the Polish player ran through and apparently well, hit the disc first and got that D before. It's not the not the claim she was making. It she was she had a better position. She was already in that space. Hufnagel did try and bail out of it. I think a little bit, but uh, so the fair fight given. Pick called, and the disc will go back to Pichonka. Looking for an option, goes up the line, denies the flick and goes for the hammer. And the receiver waiting for it in the end zone. Pacinac Jasinska, the spirit captain there, the number 10, grabbing that goal. Beautiful grab. She was so well positioned that everything she had to do was stay there and wait for the disc to float into her hands. And ciao to all our fans watching at home, all 139 of you. Thank you for joining us here. If you want to lay down a super chat or a super st or a sticker, throw us a little bit of cash, help us su support these streams. Please do. Big hammer out of Palabas. Will be just in front of the end zone. With an opportunity for Poland to get a break, maybe. Get back in there. They are currently down by four points. And the scuba finds the floor. And Leninger goes with a hammer of herself just out too far that was maybe centimeters too far for Palabas but it's getting a bit messy and we love the messy because that just means it's going to be tighter do we love messy though do we love messy oh, I, like I think messy. we like clean oh, I don't know yeah maybe we do I much prefer Clean and flawless as we see the two twins there on the right hand side of your shot. The line I guess twins. I, I do agree sometimes, but clean means that either defense or offense is grossly overpowered. And that never makes for an impeccable game. As Volrab gets the goal from Linninga. I don't know, you can have very, very clean, very tight games. We don't like it messy. We want a, 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 if a, an, ex, an offense that's executing at the very edges is beautiful to watch. And a defense that is hot and really pushing, you know, you're getting high stalls, reset, reset, patience, that sort of chess game, if you will. I love a clean, intense indoors game. Fair enough. It's my preference. Yeah, no, just I, I preference. agree. I absolutely agree. I feel like, though, with the f stuff we've seen so far, it was rather this, yeah, one or either one or the other. Either, you know, no pressure and then easy points or a lot of pressure and then messy points. So there you go with a big point from the Polish side going off, up, up that sideline for quite a bit and then for the last shot, put up a hammer. Isolated player in a lot of space. I tell you what, Christina, I'm very glad we're indoors right now. Local temperature is minus one. It's oh. a cold snap all over Europe. It is. And it's snowy. I love that. A big hammer to a very, very open player in the end zone. Gives Netherlands another score, making it 
nine to four in their favor. And which that's means half. it is half time. We just heard the whistle. Both teams are going to take a short break, maybe regroup and find some more fun defenses to surprise the other team and us on the stream. So we will do that as well. We'll take a little break and be back with you in a few minutes. We are back with second half action here. European Indoor Ultimate Championship. Netherlands against Poland. It's the group stages and the Netherlands are up by five points. So pretty comfortable so far. But you never know until it's over. Absolutely, these are very long indoor games. 42 minutes to play out. But that is what you'd hope for at European Indoor Championships. If they were too short, you can't really find the rhythm. It doesn't really give the two teams a chance to battle properly and surmount a comeback. Isolation play from the Netherlands works out again. Just in front of the end zone, puts it in. It's Fleur Coulart. Van der Marlen with the quick pop into the end zone. A like quick jump, actually, because she... You see that in the right second, she recognizes that Kulats will not be quite in bounds and starts a sprint, surprising her defender. And there's a lot of similarity in this roster to national teams before, in fact, of some of the players are actually playing in their 2020 shirts from Gior. <laughs> Discussion whether that big disc was a score or just in front of the end zone. So players are going back to where they were when the play stopped. Immediately finding the open player. Going patiently every other with the handlers. Looking for an option, finds one very, very open in the front cone. And that's the one thing you should always protect, is that front cone. Yeah, something went wrong with the defence there. And 10-5, the Netherlands now will lead. Tiny miscommunications. So, I was saying about the jerseys that these players are wearing. Some of them are wearing ones that have jeweled on the sleeve, some of them are wearing them. And I've noticed a bunch of them are wearing the World Ultimate Guts Championships 2020 that, of course, canned for the pandemic. So they must have ordered their team strip and then... Yeah, well, been it, it was supposed to be in the Netherlands for 2020. Indeed. So I do think that there was, but I think I remember a sponsorship thing from the, the like promoting the, the, the world championship in the year before that, 2019. 
Oh, there As we, we go. see a beautiful high release backhand. Kurat to Van der Mole. Something we've seen before. But never got sold. Beautiful collection. Big, big pull out of Vulrab. Poland still in their own end zone now. Finally get a gainer. Pops it back into a better position. Big disc, but smacked away by Vulrab. Bas calling the isolation on Leninger. Collects it just in front of the end zone line and a big flick goes up into the end zone. Great stuff by Tim Carter. Five to 12, the current score. With 20 minutes left. Just a quick reminder. The game is played until 17 points, until one team reaches 17 points, or we reach the end of game time, 42 minutes. And a big hammer goes up into traffic that will find two Dutch players. And to give them the disc back once again. Sparks to pick it up. A different isolation setup this time for the Dutch. It's a side stack. It's a side stack, exactly. That it is. And looked like a hand block for a second, but it's an uncontested foul. Immediately uncontested. Stall goes back in zero. Good communication there with hand signals. Kulats. Collects the scuba. Sparks goes up the line and immediately throws a hammer. Van der Molen in acres of space, collecting that break for the Dutch. She is really getting some goals there. Well, you can see sort of the job of Van der Molen is just sit at the back, wait till somebody throws you something cool. You can see the faking from Ford Clark's not really liking the separation, but that lefty hammer of Sarah Sparks really can just find that extra little bit of distance on the soft side of the pitch. So Poland on their way with an another opportunity. Garbage collected by Gritsch. Into the middle. Looking for an option and finds one. Nearly finds one, but overthrown by a bit. We'll give the disc back to the Dutch side, Savio. There you with a hammer over to Leninger. Well, Leninger does have all the throws in the world. Tenkata shows off her throwing skills and Vulgab very open in the end zone. 14 to five, three away from closing out the game. But the Polish side won't give up because they can still come back. It will be a long old game if they do and that <laughs> eventually manage to take this one and close it, clinch it. But in a nine score deficit against their opponents. But you could see the you could see the, the frustration on Glitch's face there, the overthrow where she probably could have run it down, but the angle of the disc was so far away from her, she thought it must have been for somebody else. And a beautiful back end there, and Flor Kulas had to really turn on the Jets to get there, but she does get there. She gets a D. Now 
No, they change positions completely. Coolarts and Van der Molen in the handler set and everyone else downfield. Well, the thing is, this Netherlands team is so flexible that they can just put anybody anywhere. And once you've run that many of your isolation plays, it, the idea is you don't want to become too predictable. You want to flex it up, change those different positions, move people around. And give your players something else to think about, you know? Keep your brains engaged. If you're playing the same position all the time and just keep getting it, you can kind of switch off, and that's the point when your opponents are going to start to surmount a comeback. But the Netherlands team, they're just going to want to run this one out, gets the point cap, because this division is going to be so hotly contested. Those goal differences are going to mean quite a lot, I can imagine, for some of the matchups here. I would think so, especially because it's a rather short event. So you'd have to also think about your energy con controlling that energy level as, f as much as possible. And you know if you can play one less point, it's one more point you can put your everything into at the end of the weekend for finals or hopefully a better more good positioning. As is an unforced arrow that can that will give the disc back to the Netherlands, Leninger to her sister, also a pair of twins. And Tenkata cannot quite connect that disc with maybe a bit less float that they would have than they would have wanted to. A big hammer over the top. Too far out of reach for all players. Colabas picks up the disc. Leninger. Tenkata. Goes to Leninger this time. And she gets that disc in the very back of the end zone. It's a Tenkata sandwich. Two Leninger sisters. With a bit of Tenkata filling. Yum. Sounds delicious. It looks pretty delicious, I'll be honest. It's a little bump of on the mark, but uses it to her advantage and then gets that disc. Just one point away from finishing it out now. But it's a shame for the Polish side because that previous offense was just literally an inch too far. Just getting a bit maybe inside their own heads. The execution isn't quite there. The options are nice. They're just throwing this away from themselves at the moment. It's not the Dutch getting blocks. And I do get that as Coulard gets the winning goal for the Netherlands side. And who else to throw it than Van der Molen? These two really have a great connection they showcase today. Yeah, they just went out and played catch. A good game. But the Polish team coming in seeded seventh, used to playing more outdoors than indoors. You can see they've not quite adapted to the style, but they're still in with a shot. This is obviously pool play stages, and then tomorrow morning it's crossovers. So this is all about giving yourself the easiest game to get yourself into the quarterfinal bracket tomorrow afternoon. That's what they work towards. But now they'll have a bit of a break. We will also take a short break, but we will be back with the next game. Again, I hope you will be too. Thank you for joining us, tuning in. Indeed. And, 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 and come back. Come in back. about half yeah. an hour, we're going to have Lithuania versus Latvia, oh, the that's two neighbours. That's going to be a really good game. Oh, heck yeah. Don't miss out on that. So for, na for now, thank you for tuning in, and we will see you again soon. TV.
what I'm feeling cause I'm about to go nuts And I love what I feel